Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. Today we're doing a translating algebraic phrases worksheet tutorial video from mathdrills.com. Make sure to check out mathdrills.com. They got tons of great math resources available. I have a playlist for their worksheets on my channel. Make sure to check that out too. Why do you know, uh, need to know how to translate algebraic phrases? It's because a lot of these types of phrases are found in word problems. So if you can master these types of phrases and deciphering what they mean, then you're gonna be much better at dealing with word problems. Let's go ahead and get started so we can understand kind of the terminology that we need to know to decipher what uh, goes into a word problem. So a number B divided by 36, okay? So this one's pretty straightforward. Uh, anytime it says a number, in most of the time it won't even say B. It'll just say a number divided by 36. So if it says a number divided by 36, it means any variable, but this one specifies that we want the variable B. So we're just gonna write B divided by 36. And you can write it like that as a fraction, okay? If you want write it like this, that's okay, but really this should be the preferred method because that's the same thing. That's division, that's a fraction, that means B divided by 36. So let's move on to number two, which is 66 subtract subtracted from a number p. Now this is probably the biggest source of confusion for a lot of my students is when it talk, talks about subtracting or subtracted from. If it says subtracted from, then that means the number after is the one that's doing the subtracting. Let me show you how that looks, okay? So if it was 66 subtract a number p, that would look like this, okay? Subtract is like the active verb Okay, kind of like an English lesson here, active verb. So that would be this, doing the subtraction. But if it says it's from, okay, that means it travels from somewhere. So the starting point is not 66, it's a number P. So really that's what this one looks like. 66 subtracted from a number P, that's what that one's gonna look like, okay? Number three, the quotient. Okay, here's a new word that we need to know. Quotient of 29 and then number H. Okay, so, Think about our operations. We have plus, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, okay? Quotient applies to division. So quotient is division, and if it says 29 first, that's the number that goes on top, and then H right here. So we could write it again. We could write it 29 divided by H, but again, we wanna kind of emphasize that we should be writing it as a fraction, 29 divided by H. All right, a number in plus 45. Real simple uh, here we have just n plus 40, oh 49, sorry, n plus 49. 3 divided by a number g, 3 divided by a number g. It's just real straightforward again. A total of 24 in a number x. Okay, here's a good one because it talks about a total. It doesn't specify exactly what it wants. You have to know what total means. But if you're getting a total, that means you're counting up everything together and that means when you count it up all together, you are adding. So 24 plus X is gonna be what total means. We're adding for that. The difference between 18 and number M. This is a big one. You're gonna see difference all the time and it's actually a pretty useful skill, even beyond just you know class and worksheets and whatever you're talking about uh, when you're talking about school. The difference, we're talking about subtraction between 18 and a number N. When it says between, right after that, between here, I'm not talking about absolute value here, that I don't wanna confuse you, but we're talking about this phrase right here, the first number or the first uh, term, that one's gonna go first, and then the second one is gonna be subtracted, okay? When you're talking about difference between, the 18's first, so that one gets listed first over here, and then a number M, that's second, so that gets listed after the subtraction, okay? So just keep that in mind as you do this. The second one gets subtracted when you're talking about difference. A number K added to 28, it doesn't matter the order. So if you put 28 plus K, it's the same thing. With addition, it doesn't matter which, which order you have it in. With multiplication, same thing. You just have to be careful of subtraction and division. 98 more than a number D. This is another addition problem. So if we have 98 more, okay, well, how do you get 98 more? Well, you add it on to something. Okay, so we can say 98 more than a number D. Now, I could write 98 plus D, it's the same thing. A number J multiplied by 56. J 
times 56. I prefer the dot for multiplication. Just be careful that you don't put it like as a decimal place. Like you don't want it like that. Make sure it's very clear that it's kind of like in the middle, not at the bottom. A number Y increased by 86. Well, if we're talking about more and increased, it's the same thing. More and increased, same deal, we're gonna add. So Y plus 86. 29 to the Wth power, okay? Now we're talking about powers, we're talking about exponents here. If we're talking about something raised to a power, for example, five squared, that's five to the second power. That's the power listed there. So if we're talking about 29 to the Wth power, that's what it's gonna look like. 29 with the little w and it has to be up. Okay, don't just write 29w all in a row. It has to be up. A number Q decreased. Okay, now we're talking about decreased. Increase is addition. Decrease then by that same reasoning is subtraction. So Q decreased by 85. This time you have to be careful. Can't be 85 minus Q. That's not the same thing. It has to be Q minus 85. The difference between a number F and two. Okay, we talked about this one already. A difference between, and then here is this listed, that means F needs to go first and two needs to go second because that's the order. This one's listed first, that one's second, that's the order. Quotient of a number, same thing with quotient. I, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but if you have quotient of a number T and 37, this one's listed first, that one goes on the top. This one's listed second, that one goes on the bottom. A number S minus 82. This one just says what to do, S minus 82. The product of a number, okay, here's a new one, product. This is the same thing as multiplication. So if you're talking about a product, that means we're talking about multiplication of a number Z and 84. Again, it doesn't matter which order you have it for multiplication and addition. You can just write it like that. A number V to the power of 65. This time we have the variable to the 65th, I don't know, why, why did I write it over there? Let me move it over. So V to the 65th power. Uh, the sum of, okay, here's another one, new word, sum. Sum means we add, okay, it's the total. So 45 plus R, doesn't matter the order. The product of 52 and a number, uh, number C. So 52 times C, and that's it, we're done, okay? So that's kind of deciphering really basic algebraic phrases. Make sure to check out more content from Math Drills and also my channel, and tune in next time right here on West Explains Best.